Hey, I'm Steve Tillman, and boy, you're riding on a nice one with us today. A 2000, the one everybody wants, 2004 C-Pro 255 walk around with a pair of sweet little Japanese, Japanese, I saw, Japanese 140 Suzuki four strokes on her. Let me tell you something. They've got 158, 159 hours. I'll show you how to check, you know, so you can keep up with it yourself. Boat's clean. It's a bank repo. All the boats that we sell are bank re repos. And uh, we get them in, we fix them up, blah, 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 blah. We get them on and, and boom, we about damn near give them away. This is my Sea Cat dock. And uh, people ask me, what'd you have for dinner last night? And I said, that, that, it was good. Actually, I added it as an appetizer. Get up close. Little spot, little spot, little buff out. That's just where somebody's loaded it. But I want you to get up and see nice big starboard uh, rail, I mean, uh, bow sprit. And she's 255, fiberglass to fiberglass. They don't count this, you guys know that. Stainless steel rail, the bow's real clean on her. I've got her sitting on about an 8,000 pound trailer, an 07 model, 11 of 06 makes it an 07 model. Uh, Magic Tilt Trailer, big aluminum I-beam, 15 inch wheels. Trailer's only been in the water four, four times. I'm getting ready to put it in for the fifth time. It's got brakes on both axles. But it's real clean up front. And I want you to get up close. As a matter of fact, let me give you this trailer number while we're here. The serial number for the trailer is one Mike five Bravo Alpha two four two niner seven one Echo E Echo two three nine two three she's born 11 15 of 06 which makes us an in a 07 in the eyes of the florida dmv she got brakes on her all right but now see this is what i'm looking for see the rubber i got one little spot right there okay okay see how clean it is stainless steel sitting on pvc couple little spots couple little spots in the gel coat i'm gonna get my man jason to jump on them fill them spray them and Sand them out, they'll be invisible. C Pro, uh, bilge pump, don't know, don't know, have to find out. Recessed trim tabs, people love them. Okay, the whole number Papa India Zero Oscar, it's, a, it's the letter O, Oscar Alpha Charlie 311. Charlie 304, okay? Self bailing cockpit on the port and starboard side, and then the splash well self bails also. That's my sticker on there from where I got it from the sale. I'll clean that up. Okay, on the on the uh, starboard engine, she's a Delta Foxtrot 140, and the serial number is 14001 Foxtrot dash 422816. Made in Japan! Okay, I want you to get up close and see this girl now. I'm going to tell you something. She cleaned as a pen. She a little, she's got a little smudge on it. Jason, my man Jason, has biggest thing we fight on, on these engines today, on all engines, four-stroke engines, is uh, this ethanol fuel. So what we do on about 90% of the four-strokes we get in is we have to get to this VSO tank. What's VSO stand for? I don't know. Ask your, ask your father-in-law. He'll tell you. I don't know what it means, VSO. But I know that your high-pressure fuel pump uh, sits in there on, on some of your Mercury's you have two fuel pumps in them but on this one your high pressure fuel pump sits in there a lot of times what we have is ethanol sits in the bottom of there crystallizes and then there's a little screen on the bottom of your fuel pump and uh, that'll get it'll pick up try it'll actually pick up those ethanol crystals is what it does because your fuel is filtered so many times you don't get any trash you get you get those ethanol crystals okay so all that being said this has come off your VSO tank's been clean. I ended up having to put new electric fuel pumps on both sides. Here's a fuel water separator on the back of the engine on both of these little engines. This has been cleaned. That one's been cleaned. Both of these VSO tanks have come off. Therefore, you can see the little smudges where Jason didn't have his rubber gloves on. And anyway, um, you know, we'll try and wipe those down. But I want you to look on the, at, on, at the, look at that. See that plug down in there? No rust, brand new plugs, NGK plugs, brand, can't see it, brand new. But I'm telling you, I want you to look at, at these bolts on this engine. 
no rust, no corrosion. See those heads? And what you'll find is, see this little stuff right here? A lot of these guys are real smart about putting corrosion block. And they'll spray them down. Another thing on these 140 uh, four strokes is your oil filter is right here. So to, to change your oil, you simply uh, drain it from this oil drain plug right here, but you have to pull this, this cowling off with one, two, three, four, about four bolts, and your oil filter's right here. I've just serviced both sides, and they've got new oil filters, new spark plugs, fresh oil. Can you see how clear that is? See how clear that is? Okay. So all you have to do is make up in your mind that you're going to do one of two things. You're either going to buy ethanol fuel at the gas station for $3 and some change a gallon, and you're going to put some Stabil, some Seafoam, some Fuel Medic. You're going to put some kind of stabilizer in there to keep that uh, uh, ethanol from uh, attracting water and separating. That's, you know, that's what those, all those uh, voodoo products do, but they work. Or you can uh, buy gasoline for four, I paid four sixty-five a gallon yesterday at the marina. You can spend four sixty-five a gallon and buy gasoline or find somebody that's got gasoline. But see how clean that starter is? No corrosion, no corrosion, no rust. These are tight cowlings, okay? And so if you're off in five to six C's and you get water up the back, uh, you know, you sprayed it down. These are, these are nice tight cowlings. I want you to look at these props. Get up close. I want you to look at these props. One good thing among many things, when you hit this button, I've got the switch turned on at the helm that both of them come up at the same time. Come here and see these zincs. Huh? See those zincs right there? N-E-W new. I didn't change them. That's the way I got it. Okay, see these props counter-rotating. You don't have to touch them. If your brother-in-law says, well, I'd have them true if I was you, tell him to kiss your behind. See how clean they are? Get up close and let you, let's get up close and let you just see the bottom. Okay, still has the uh, sonar transducer, the three-hole transducer. Don't know what kind of unit that was. You have to. I, I'd find out. I wouldn't go change it. See how clean that is. See how clean that is. This thing's got one of those uh, flush kits for your brakes too. I'd use it. See how clean your bolts are on your trailer. Huh? She clean. She's clean. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, three-step ladder on the back. It, it tracks. But see how clean it is? See how clean it is? Your vent right here, the sun's got to it. That needs to be replaced. Okay, the vent for your fuel tank. Hard top. just want you to see this boat. I'd move those, I'm gonna move these up just a little bit. Those, those will come up about three or four inches just to get the bow up some. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this, this winch post here to right there, okay? See how, see how there's a little bit of room right there? This boat needs to go back about six inches on the trailer. These are, these are just word uh, decals from the auction. Yeah, but see how clean that thing is? Okay. If you're in Australia, if you're in South America, if you're uh, up north, if you're in Canada, and you want me to ship this boat to you, when it gets there, what you're going to say is, Oh my God! It's so clean! And I bought it so cheap! You're welcome. You're welcome. Come see me. Okay, you ready to go for a ride? All right, let's go put it in the water. Let's see what time it is. Hello?
All right. Okay, come here. I want to show you something. We're, we're cranking around. I'm gonna shut her off for a second. I'm gonna show you something. All right. Look at look at this tachometer right here. Let me tell you on these Suzuki's. Don't don't take my word for it. Check it out for yourself. See this red limiter light? When you first crank up a Suzuki product with Suzuki tachometers, what will happen is you'll get all three lights at the bottom. And then what will happen is your tachometer needle will go up to the hours. So, for example, if it had 600, 500 hours, say if it had five, and it only go up to 500. So, if it had 500, say if it had 490 hours on it, it would go to 490. Okay, now pay attention. If that rev limiter light right here flashed one time and it went up to 400, then you take that rev limiter light, which would stand for 500 plus 400, and you'd add them together and you'd have 900. All right, if you did the same sequence and that rev limiter lighted light flashed twice, flash, flash, that would be a thousand plus whatever your needle went up to. And it's only going to go to five because the whole system is basically giving you an opportunity to monitor your time without a Hobbs meter, without an hour meter, without any of that stuff. So pay attention, I'm going to show you something. You're going to get all three lights. This is on the uh, port engine. You're going to get all three lights and they're going to clear. Watch this now. Boom, you get all three lights. Boom, see how it goes up? One, not even to one C, so one, 20, 40, not even to 160, so about 158. And see how you're not getting any flashing? Okay, boom. All right, now let me just show you. Okay, here's the uh, starboard. Okay, you're going to get all three lights. Pay attention. Boom. So you get all three lights. And then it goes up to about 24. Really, it only goes up to about 140. If you split it, it really goes only up to about 150. And then you don't get that rev limiter light flashing at you, which would indicate that, that it could, you know, if it was doing that, had another 500. One you know, one, one mid fifties over here, probably about 158, 159, 160 over here. Okay, and then you've got voltage meters, voltage meters, fuel gauge, voltmeter again, speedometer, trim tabs, up, down, and then horn, nav lights, okay? And nav lights on the front, and then if you flip it to the back, then you got nav and anchor which would be on top of the boat, okay? Courtesy lights, I want to show you. Oh, excuse me, Bridget Lee. Courtesy lights, one right there on the starboard side, another on the port side, okay? Live well, right there. And if it's like most of these live wells lately, it still needs to be cleaned out, but it's pumping. It's probably about 25 gallons. It's got a light in the bottom of it. Does it work? I don't know. Okay. All right, now, the washdown pump, it, it's got a raw water washdown back over there on the starboard side, but it's not working, so I'll replace that, okay? All right, uh, main, main bilge pump is working, but there's just not any water down there. Ex accessory is a raw water pump, actually probably a fresh water pump for down below. I can hear it working. Accessory two. I have no clue. Okay, and then it's got this little 12 volt thing right here. I don't know if it works or not. And then I got only got one set of keys to it, and it had an AM FM stereo on it. I'm assuming the guy had it up there, but it's gone now. It's a bank repo. I'm gonna get us back out in the middle of the channel a little bit. Okay, so big, big hard top. And my gut feeling is I'd put my VHF radio back here, or maybe I'd bring it over closer to my coaxial cable. Okay, that closes, that closes. And then here's a chase for you if you want to run some of your wires, you know, back through here. And then, you know, what everybody wants is big room. I'm five foot nine, I weigh about 185 pounds. And so I'm in here pretty good. Here's your head. Okay, pretty darn clean. These come out. There's a spot for the table. Do I have the table? I don't have the table. I like to have the table. This self bailing it's not clean. We'll clean it up. Okay. And then, you know, what you've got to have 
in one of these is the ability to open this hatch up right here so you can get some ventilation. Okay. Okay. I want to just show you lights, cabin lights. Okay. Little sink. Hey, would you have that auxiliary? Uh, just put it in there. Just barely put them in. Okay. I want to show you this alcohol sink. See the wrapping on it? It's never been used. Not one time. It's brand new. Okay. See how pretty and clean it is? Glow mate. Okay. And then right here needs to be clean. A little cubby. There's a little sink. That accessory two button or accessory one, the one that made the noise. Yeah, let's see. No? I can hear it. It's trying to pump. But there's no water in it. That's what it is. Okay, turn it off. A little shelf all the way down behind there. And then a little cubby under all of them. Shallow. So room for just a little bit of storage. There's one, there's one right here. There's one up front. And there's one over on this side. Okay? Needs to be cleaned one time. Okay. Yeah. Okay, just. Just want to show you, I'm, I'm, you know, getting a thunderstorm or you can camp out or whatever. Nice room. Wife gets in the mood. Let's see if we can lay down all the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm about, I'm about seven foot five inches tall. <laughs> okay. Nice. Nice. I've got the bow cushion. It's in pretty, it needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but it's in pretty good shape. Still has all the stainless steel snaps. Let me put that back down below. Okay. And then uh, a lot of access back in the back to get to your uh, bilge pump and so forth. Actually, and then I'm gonna show you, this is where those uh, Tupperware shelves for your tackle would go. One, two, three, it's got room for three. Then, little spot for your bait prep the sink I showed you I'll get that pump working then a real nice area here you know for one two three this did, I don't think this came from C Pro I think the guy added this on after the fact nice job does not have a cushion on it okay just want to show you uh, I don't know if I showed you that sink or not. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit, and I'll get that where it's spraying. Uh, this, you know, I, you can either use this for a fish box or for storage. It's got two drain holes in the bottom. And then, uh, just as a matter of information, what I was showing you earlier was, um, what I was showing you earlier was, there is your uh, transducer for your through haul, and then two brand new. Uh, fuel water separators, okay, and then new cables uh, going to your battery and to the engine to the starter, then two new master switches. She needs to be bathed down in there one more time, but overall, pretty darn nice for an 04 model. Okay, just want to show it to you. Cowlings need to be cleaned and waxed. I thought C Pro did a nice job with their uh, walk-through transoms. Got a little stainless steel um, latch on it. 